on Lord Liverpool's death, Arthur Wellesley, the Duke of Wellington and the current Prime Minister, asked King George IV for the post of Lord Warden, primarily because he was seeking the use of Warmer Castle. Wellington took up the post in 1829 and considered Warmer to be the most charming marine residence. He made use of the castle each autumn, entertaining extensively there, but living and sleeping in a single room. He was visited there twice by Victoria, once when she was still a princess and later as queen. Wellington died in his room at Warmer on the 14th of September 1852. His embalmed body was kept in the room to lie in state until the 10th of November, when the room was opened for public visitors during the final two days, and around 9,000 attended. The Duke's body was finally removed to London via deal, complete with a military escort. James Brown Ramsay, the Marquess of Dalhousie, became Lord Warden. On his death, the Prime Minister Henry Temple, the Viscount Palmerston, took over the castle in 1861. Palmerston initially declined to buy the contents of the castle from his predecessor's estate on taking up the post, a practice which had become traditional for the Lord Warden, complaining about the high price being proposed. This raised the risk that the historical contents of the castle might be sold off at open auction, and some of Wellington's former belongings were therefore removed by his family for safekeeping. The politician Granville Leveson Gower, 2nd Earl Granville, was offered the post of Lord Warden by the new Prime Minister, John Russell, in 1865. Russell noted that the role would be expensive for Granville to perform. The salary had been abolished in 1828, but that it would provide him with a property by the sea, which Granville had been seeking to acquire for a while. He expanded the gardens, built new kennels for a hunting pack and spent many years reassembling the furniture and other objects that Pitt and Wellington had used at the castle. He received large numbers of visitors, many whom stopped off while travelling to or from France. The diplomat, Baron de Malorti, visited Granville and his family at Warmer and later praised the homely atmosphere in the castle. He described how, after breakfast, the family and guests would all gather in the drawing room, which was the only large room in the house, and Granville would answer government correspondence amid the daily life of the rest of the household. The businessman and politician William Smith was appointed Lord Warden in 1891, but died in Warmer Castle during his first visit there, in October of that year.